The story begins around 49 BCE with the rise of Julius Caesar, a Roman general who dared to cross the Rubicon River, igniting a civil war against the Roman Senate. This bold move, although controversial, propelled Caesar to power. But power can be fleeting. On the Ides of March in 44 BCE, Caesar's life was abruptly ended in a brutal assassination by a group of senators. This turning point in history triggered political instability and paved the way for the rise of Augustus Caesar. Augustus, the first Roman emperor, ascended to the throne in 27 BCE. His reign ushered in the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability that spanned over two centuries. It was a time of grandeur, marked by ambitious building projects that expanded Roman infrastructure and culture. The Roman Empire reached its zenith through a series of conquests that stretched its borders across Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. From the annexation of Egypt in 30 BCE to the subjugation of Britain in 43 CE and Dacia in 106 CE, Roman influence permeated these territories. However, the empire was not immune to crises. The third century saw a period of turmoil marked by economic instability, military defeats, and political upheaval. This crisis resulted in a series of short-lived emperors and civil wars. In an attempt to restore order, Emperor Diocletian divided the empire into eastern and western halves in 286 CE. This division aimed to streamline governance and defense, but also underscored the growing cultural and political disparities between the regions. Amidst these changes, a new religion was emerging. Christianity, initially persecuted, began to flourish under Constantine the Great in the early 4th century. The Edict of Milan in 313 CE granted religious tolerance, allowing Christianity to become the dominant religion of the empire. The Western Roman Empire, however, was facing its twilight. Ravaged by economic hardship, invasions by Germanic tribes and internal strife, the last Roman emperor in the West, Romulus Augustulus, was overthrown in 476 CE. This marked the end of the Western Roman Empire. Despite its fall, the legacy of the Roman Empire lives on. Its laws, language, architecture and culture continue to influence the world today. As for the Eastern Roman Empire, it survived as the Byzantine Empire for another millennium, preserving Roman traditions and shaping medieval Europe and the Islamic world. So, there you have it. The rise and fall of the Roman Empire. A tale of power, conquest, crisis and legacy. A tale that reminds us of the impermanence of empires, but also the enduring influence of their contributions to civilization.